First, find the center of your play area in your house and walk to that spot. Make sure there's enough space on all sides, at least six by six feet, with no furniture or walls in the way. Go to your settings and then select physical play area and click on create new boundary. Choose your own boundary, then use the laser pointer to draw the largest area possible. Be sure to avoid the auto-generated boundaries. You may have to set the floor or clear boundary history before. You may want to walk around the play area while setting it to the largest size. This is important. Setting up a boundary that is too small, even if the boundary visibility is disabled, might cause the game to crash. Finally, the boundary visibility should be disabled specifically for Honify, so that you can move beyond it when needed. If it is still visible, you may have to go through your settings for pass-through. You want to map each room. Physically walk to each room that you want to scan. Press the recenter button once you're inside the room. In the system settings, go to space setup and map each room one at a time. Your rooms are saved here. If they are misaligned, delete them and rescan them. Sometimes the room scans can shift, requiring you to delete and rescan them. If you're using the Quest 3, the system can automatically scan blue walls indoors for you. The blue walls are what is used to contain the area, not the detailed meshes. For the Quest 2 or Pro, you'll need to manually draw these blue walls and doors to enclose each room. Remove any doors that lead to unscanned areas for every room. And if you make sure that the doors are linking to the scanned rooms. Double check that all your scanned rooms are connected by doors and complete. Start Honify. Use your laser pointer to open the Honify menu and the game will generate a navigation mesh for the ghost to move between rooms. Make sure you have enough space on all sides of the menu, at least four feet in all directions. The next step is to inspect the navigation mesh. Make sure the green navigation mesh doesn't extend outside of your play area. If the green mesh does not connect to the outside and there's a gap, it should be okay. You must see a visible gap between the inside navigation mesh and the outside navigation mesh. The green navigation mesh should be fully enclosed to prevent the ghost from moving outside the playable area. That is why removing unnecessary doors is key. If there are issues with the green navigation mesh where it is connecting to the outside, go ahead and rescan the room until the navigation mesh stays inside the boundaries. For example, if the wall is missing, if there is frequent shifting, you may have to restart the headset, check the lighting conditions, Rescan all rooms, clear boundary system, and check if there are any background tasks running. Remember, multi room is still experimental, and there's a greater chance of shifting playing in a larger area with more rooms. Once everything is set up, you're ready to start playing.